Well, if your torque tube is on Viagra and a little stiff, let me uh, uh, talk a little bit about what I have found out on this thing. Um, this has plagued all the bills back from the EX2 all the way up to now. Uh, you hear people about this. Uh, the manual changed it a little bit. They still didn't explain in the update what I had told them earlier. And as I explained on my forum post about the torque tube, that the problem is not in the size of the torque tube blocks, but in the angle that you're putting them in. So let me, let me explain what I'm talking about and show you. Now I have taken, it's important that you take, this is set to 0.093 right there, which is what the manual calls for. And that's from the back from here to the center of the hole. So I want you to see that's exactly where that is, okay? So this is the right distance off of here, 0.93, okay? Now I drilled the holes down through there. I've got this plate that's gonna go on top. You'll have to match drill these holes. But that's not, and then what happens is the torque tube is rice and see how easy, it's just nice and smooth and easy. But as soon as you try to clamp these down, You'll notice the tighter you get, that this thing gets stiffer, okay? And then we've talked about shimming these, and the manual talks about shimming these blocks. That's not the problem. I explained that to Cub Crafters from the very beginning, but they haven't uh, grasped the idea yet, I guess. Okay, so the problem is, is the angle. These blocks are fixed. The torque tube is fixed because it goes through the back, okay? So there's nothing you can do about this angle. This angle, if you tighten these blocks up on the torque tube, it's going to act a certain way. I'm going to see if I can set the camera here. Maybe something to hold it like that hammer. And I'm going to kind of show you. I can use both hands. I'm going to figure this out. Maybe like that. Not real level. But in any case, what happens is you can move this torque tube and... Come on now, one-handed photographer. Well, I can't do it. But if you take this torque tube and see how easy it moves. Now, look at this angle right here, okay, the back of it. So what happens is if you, if when, when the torque tube moves good, you'll notice that this, these torque, I've got these loose, I don't have these tightened yet, so they're just loose. You see you can take these blocks and you can wobble them back and forth. Well, if you, if you move them forward, you'll notice that's where they fit good. If you were to put these on the torque tube before you even install the torque tube, just on the bench, tighten these down to 90 inch pounds as they call for, which will be the final setting, you'll notice that this will move nice and smooth. It's very smooth, okay? No binding or anything. And so that's fine. So there's nothing wrong with these blocks. The blocks are perfect for the torque tube. The problem is we're drilling a hole down through the seat and the bottom of these blocks don't sit flat on the base, okay? So when the torque tube, is, when they're loose, it's gonna go to where it's naturally fitting, right? Which is more forward, okay? So if you come to 0.093 off of here and you drill down and you put the blocks in, um, because what's gonna happen is you're gonna set the block down they're going to be sitting down on here so you're going to drill through there what happens is as you tighten the bolts underneath then what it does is going to bring these blocks up to until this bottom is flush level with the seat base and when it does that it binds on the torque tube so then when you go try to turn it it'll bind okay that's where it's binding it's binding because the blocks are at an angle, okay? When there's nice, if they're more of this angle, they work good, but when you tighten them down, they go back and have to match the angle of the seat base, right? So what I explained in the forum post, and this is what I'm talking about, is that the front of these blocks, you need to sand this angle, okay? Or shim the back of it, okay? So it's the angle, you, you, so you can try it, but you need to do this before you put the rear torque tube uh, mask on because you can't remove this and get underneath to get to this block once you've installed the rear uh, mast onto the torque tube. 
So try this out on the bench. See what I'm talking about. On the bench, put these blocks together, torque them to 90 pounds, and see if it moves good. It will, most likely. If it doesn't, then you know, sand it out a little bit to where it does move nice and smooth. Then when you go back over here, put it on your blocks, measure it over here, drill your holes, and then what you're going to see is that you know it's going to tilt forward. Right if, when it when it works the best, it's going to be tilted forward and it's going to work smooth. And it'll work smooth until you torque the bolts. And when you torque the bolts, it's going to make this bottom part go flat against the base. And when it does that, it forces it back up here, and that's what binds on the torque tube. So this is your problem area right here. Okay. It's because this seat base is angled and the bottoms of these blocks are not cut to the right angle to where it works smooth. So anyway, that's the problems that I have uh, found. So you can just sand the bottom, take a file, flat file and go across this corner. If you want to make it flat or you can make a little shim just to go on the backside and shim it up, your choice.